Positives from tonight. Um, we had a lot of good contributions, and I think Connor Richardson's play in the first quarter uh, was outstanding. We talked about uh, really emphasizing giving no layups and making all our layups, and Connor Richardson certainly made all our layups uh, to finish with 20 points in just 13 minutes of play. Uh, very happy with her, very happy with the way that Chastity shot the ball, uh, the way Laya Soleil, who hasn't played as many minutes as she has in the past, uh, has accepted her role and came in and gave us uh, 14 points in 20 minutes. Um, you know, Hallie Bovell's charge and her defense and the energy she brought. Uh, overall, you know, just a, a very, very good game uh, for us. And, and probably the best stat is, is the fact that we had uh, 28 assisted baskets. So 20 of eight, 28 of our 40 baskets were assisted. And I think that says a lot about our team. Um, obviously, we're playing well at the right time. Dan, how valuable is it to be able to jump out ahead and get some young kids uh, and some bench players some some playing time in the third and fourth quarters? Well, it, 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 I don't like to use the word bench players because we've had so many different starting lineups, and frankly, we could start a variety of lineups. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Yutsa is one of those bench players, and uh, you know, and she's a twelve point a game like kid, and uh, so it, the opportunity to get out there and get people who typically play five or six minutes to get them 10 and 15 and even 20 minutes is beneficial to them uh, so that they're ready as we are going to need the depth as we go into Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Um, it also allows us to rest Connor Richardson, uh, which is a good thing. It allows us to get Libby off of her legs a little bit. Uh, we really don't have any injuries, but it allows us to uh, hold up our reserves and, and make sure that we're fresh for Friday. Assessing things as a whole, the cliche is this is your third season. So as great as you played in your second season, you're zero and zero. So to keep that momentum up and playing at the right time with this kind of a game, what does that say that it carried over at this stage? Um, you know, I just felt like when you make shots and you shoot 70% in the first half, you're going to feel really good about yourself. And we did uh, we can take away some things where we didn't defend as well as we could have, uh, especially in the first quarter. Uh, you know, the big kid, 32, Jorgensen, is such a horse. I mean, she's a very good basketball player, and we could have done a better job of blocking her out. Uh, but, you know, it is the third start of our third season, and, and I've emphasized to the players for the last three weeks that our back is against the wall. And right now, we're playing for our lives because there is no postseason if we lose on Friday. There is no postseason if we lose on Saturday. So we have to have an air of desperation uh, when we're playing. And I don't think we had an air of desperation tonight, but we had a very much an air of confidence and uh, playing good basketball. There's, there's no chance that this team would get too too confident after it was such an easy victory? We'll make sure that practice tomorrow that they won't. <laughs> Uh, that's that's the easiest way that you can bring them back down. You want them to enjoy it to midnight, like I always say. Uh, but the the first hint of uh, being overconfident, uh, we'll have to bring them back down to earth a little bit. Uh, but I think with the veteran group that we have, uh, and what we have gone through personally this year, uh, with such high accolades at the beginning of the season and not living up to them, that uh, they are very grounded and they are focused. Do you think that's motivated them at all? Like you said, coming in with such high accolades then to kind of have an up and down regular season, they may be maybe fueled by that in this tournament? I think it's just, you know, they're fueled. I know Chastity in particular is fueled because she, she wants to continue to play. And I, and I think your senior class is like that. You know, they don't want this to be their last game. Um, I think there is some truth to that, though. I think that overall, as a team, um, I think they want to be remembered in a way that they were a good basketball team and they lived up to the expectations. And we can still live up to what our expectations were before the season began. Uh, but we can't lose sight of what happened in the past and we've got to use that as fuel. Yutsa only took four shots the entire game. And in the fourth quarter, she could have taken so many more shots, but she kept passing off to those reserve players, giving them momentum. Just how important is that in her step and her role, and not just becoming a shooter, but that team player you've been looking for? You know, Yutsa was fantastic tonight. Um, 
because she did share the ball. And Paige Cannon did the same thing. Paige Cannon turned down numerous shots to get others shots. And that's what really good players and really good teams do. And I, would, and I said that in the locker room. I was probably more proud of that and the fact that we had the 28 assisted buckets uh, more than anything. And uh, so Utah tonight was, was very, very good. She, she wasn't perfect. She still had a turnover or two that was her fault that didn't have to happen. And then defensively, she had one or two missed assignments I wish she would have been better at. Uh, but Utah is playing her best basketball, and uh, she is really dialed in. She's, she's very much dialed in right now. And most of your seniors will have a future in basketball, is that correct? Yeah, we have uh, five seniors, four of them. I used the hashtag four pros and an MBA. Uh, Chastity, Yutza, Kadri, and any will all be professional players. They'll all sign contracts. Uh, Connor Richardson is uh, basically because of her health will not play, and she'll finish her MBA. She'll be our graduate assistant next year, and she'll finish her MBA. She's in the MBA program right now, and uh, she'll finish that next year. The kind of defense you've got just across the board, get all the points off turnovers, but also just specific players. Amanda Kalen seemed like a lot of great on the ball defense. Let me base like. Obviously, when you're shooting that well, it's easy to take your eyes off the defense, but there was a lot of great just one-to-one -one defensive play that kind of jump-started a lot of that offense also. There was. You know, we still felt like we didn't get the 50-50 balls at the rate that we wanted to. Um, we might have gotten 50% of the 50-50 balls, but we want to have 70 or 80% of those. And, and we'll have to go back and watch the film to figure that out. Uh, but we got our hands on balls a lot. So those are different from 50-50 balls. Those are deflections. And we got quite a bit of deflections, and you're correct, Amanda, Kayla, and Libby. Yutza, uh, Yutza had two deflections, and, and, and I'm proud of Yutza for that. And, uh, and Kirsten Elliott had two deflections in her minutes. And so, like, you know, I think Chas had two tips from behind. And that's one of the things that we're really emphasizing is getting the ball tipped from behind. It's such a psychological thing for an opponent, always wondering if someone's behind them as they try to race it up the floor. And so we'll continue to try to do that more. All things considered, is this the best you've played all season? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I still go back to that St. Joe's game. Uh, we shot the ball better than we've shot all year today. Um, the Dayton game we shot pretty similar, but that St. Joe's game really sticks with me because it was on the road and it was against an opponent that we struggle against at their place. And they made some runs at us. And, and the way we listened to one another and listened to each other and trusted one another and fought through some adversity, th that game to me was a, a real turning point, uh, knowing that I felt really good leaving that gym that night for the rest of our season. But, I mean, you can't play much better from an offensive standpoint than what we did tonight. The way Rhode Island played, they pretty much kept up with a lot of their season averages. They did what they were expected to do. Have you ever been on that side of it where you do pretty much everything you're expected to do, but the other team just can't seem to be stopped at all? Yeah, we've played UConn a couple times. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you know, you, you take away our UConn game, uh, our two, two or three times we've played UConn and, and, uh, and Notre Dame and uh, the Texas game this year. Uh, you take away those three, and, 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 and we've pretty much, you know, it, maybe the Syracuse game, and other than maybe those four games in my 12 years here, uh, we really haven't had that issue where someone's kind of blowing our doors off. Uh, so, you know, I mean, like, they did do some of the things that they wanted to do. Uh, you know, they, their inside scoring really, they did a nice job there. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, I, I went in and I yelled at them at halftime about the rebounds. But when you're shooting 70% from the field, you're not going to have the opportunity to rebound it very often. So, you know, you have to kind of find ways to motivate them sometimes when you're up like that. Does this team need much motivation? <clears throat> um, I don't believe they do because they understand like what I had originally said. Our backs are against the wall. And uh, it's, not a, it's not an air of desperation at all, but it's an air of confidence. And it's an air of we, we have to take care of, I hate to use the word, we, we have to take care of. We, we, we have an air of confidence about us and we have an expectation that we will live up to. And I believe that's what they feel. And that's from student manager up to me. Thank you for supporting women's basketball. I appreciate you.